Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a what I eat in a day. I want to get into doing these a little bit more frequently. I feel like at some point last year I said I was going to do them like once a week and it just never happened. Um, so yeah, I really want to get around to doing these a little bit more frequently. Currently I am eating in a slight deficit. I'm actually eating 1,700 calories at the moment. Um, and my protein, I try and get minimum 100 grams, but between 100 and 120 somewhere in between that is perfect for me so that is kind of what i'm trying to do at the moment i'm at the gym now i'm actually going to go and do cardio and abs which is something that i really want to try and incorporate into like my new year routine not a new year routine but like is this car going to park next to me no as of the new year i said i wanted to try and incorporate like one cardio and abs day they've pulled up right next to me so now i'm just gonna have to play it cool and carry on talking to the camera um but yeah I'm just trying to play it cool. Now I can't remember what I was saying. I kind of said to myself, I want to do, I used to do it. I used to kind of do a five day split and the middle of the week would be cardio and abs. And then I just kind of fell off of that after my holiday. I'll always try and get in a little bit of cardio, but it's never. So basically I'll try and put in a bit of cardio at the end of each session, but it's usually like, 10 to 15 minutes max um and i just want to be doing a little bit more purely for myself the camera just fell so i think that's a sign i'll talk to you all a little bit more about it when i'm at the gym but i am currently gonna do charlie's there <laughs> but for now i'm gonna go and do cardio and abs um i've had a squares bar um, this morning I've come straight from my boyfriend's house um, So if you've seen my what I eat in a days before Sometimes if I come straight from his house I won't actually have breakfast um, I'll just have a squares bar And sometimes an energy drink But I'm actually not having that today Because I'm trying to cut down um, But again I'll talk to you all a bit more about that later But yeah I've had a squares bar this morning I've got my water And we're gonna go and get this workout done I really can't wait for the summer because let me tell you like having to turn these lights on this isn't even my ring light this is just my dressing table light every time I film like it's just I want some natural light um also excuse how I look I feel like every time I do one of these videos I look like rubbish but it is an errands day today I've got a day off of work so I'm just tidying my room getting some college work done it's been a little while since i had breakfast now and i just realized that i actually forgot to tell you what i had i think i showed you um this is one of my favorite breakfasts at the moment um especially like on a weekend i had a like sausage and egg muffin so for that i used a bagel thin um around christmas i had it and i did actually use a muffin i don't think there's too much difference in like the calories um, I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure there wasn't too much difference in the calories. Um, and then a Richmond sausage patty and then a fried egg. But I'm not going to lie, as you can tell by the footage, my fried egg wasn't really like frying. It just didn't want to be a fried egg today. The last couple of fried eggs that I've made have been really bad. Like they just, it was just egg, okay? It was just egg. And then on the top of it, I put like a slice of, um, I call it like plastic cheese, but you know what I mean? Like Dairy Lee, I don't know I'm doing this. Dairy Lee cheese or just a cheese slice. Um, and then also ketchup as well. And for me, I absolutely love that breakfast. Like I say, especially on a weekend when I'm like craving something bad. And I'm really trying to like knock down the amount of takeaways that I have because I seem to be eating really good through the week. And then on the weekend, um, I'll have loads of takeaways. Not even purely just... Um, in terms of like being in a deficit as well but money wise as well like I'm really trying to make a conscious effort not to spend money on unnecessary things I just feel like it's a really good breakfast and like I say it is definitely one of my favorites at the moment I really like as much as I like sweet things like, I don't know why like a, a bagel thin with bacon and egg or sausage and egg like it really really fills me up a lot more than something like porridge does 
and that was 411 calories and 22.5 grams of protein. I also had that with my protein shake as well. I'm still having the My Protein Clearway and I have it in the flavor cranberry and raspberry, which I feel like I've repurchased like three times now, which is really good for me because I get bored of flavors so easily. I can't lie, I'm kind of missing my Vimto flavor, but I do think they don't do it anymore or I haven't seen it for a while. But aside from the Vimto, cranberry and raspberry is like my on a level favorite flavor as well. Um, and I just had it mixed with some ice and water and it's so refreshing. I genuinely look forward to having my protein shake when I have that. I've already been to the gym this morning. Um, I'm training here at the gym tonight, so I'll be going back at around seven o'clock. Um, so I'm trying to hold off having my lunch till a little bit later, around three o'clock. Um, so just to tide me over, I've got a baby bell light, a fiber one bar and a Coke Zero, which I, do you know what? Oh, this weekend I definitely did the 10,000 calorie challenge probably twice, but that's okay. We're back on it now. And that's the thing, like, although I fell off of it at the weekend, I'm really trying to not, like, restrict myself going forward. I will just jump back on where I left off, 1,700 calories, and we're good to go. Um, but I'm going to go and have my snacks now, and then I'll chat to you a little bit more in a minute. Honestly, it looks like I haven't moved today, but I promise it is a little while later now. I have been going around doing my bits, um, and I thought it was time for lunch. Um, so today, I just have a tuna and red onion bagel, which some people find gross, but I think tuna and red onion is such an elite combo. You just have to have some chewing gum. You need to have some chewing gum after. Um, but I absolutely love that. Also, have it with a tablespoon of mayo and then some pepper sprinkled on. I probably should cut down on the mayo because... It seems to take up, like, obviously mayo is high in calories, but I'm like, I could, I could do with less. Like, I don't need to have that full amount. It seems like such a waste of calories, so I think I am going to start cutting that down. But that lunch is 310 calories and 28.7 grams of protein, so I'm going to eat that now. Um, I do actually have my dinner planned, but it doesn't leave me with many calories left for a snack after. Like, I do have enough calories for a snack after, but just with the mood I'm in, I feel like I could probably do... With a few more snacks tonight so i might change my dinner i'm not sure but i'll let you know when i get to that point i'm gonna eat my lunch now i'm still drinking my water um, i don't really speak about water much in these videos but i am quite good when it comes to drinking water like i've never had a problem with like struggling to get my two liters in a day i know around this time last year i was literally drinking like six liters of water a day but that has dropped um, granted I don't know if it's a big problem that it's dropped but I am finding myself feeling a little bit more dehydrated which is weird because I'm still getting in I'd say four litres minimum a day but I'm finding myself still feeling like a little bit dehydrated so I'm not sure why that is but I am still making sure that I keep on top of my water intake so I think I'm on my third litre for today yeah my third litre um, I've had a coke zero and a protein shake as well just sat and i've been doing i write so much that's one question and i've still got like a lot left to do um but yeah i've just sat and done some college work today and then i went to train here in the gym by the time you're watching this or probably just before i will be a fully qualified personal trainer um i qualify on the 9th of february so i feel like this might have gone up just after or just before um but yeah i qualify on the 9th of february why is my voice going? <coughs> I qualify on the 9th of February. I've got um, one more theory exam, which I have Thursday, so in two days' time. And then I have two more observations, and I'll be fully done. I'm so excited to just, like, start it now. Like, I, I have enjoyed being back at college and learning things, but, you know, I mean, like, I feel ready now. So, yeah, that's why I was training here tonight. For my final exam, I basically have to create, like, a 12-week plan for someone. Um, and then I just train them on four sessions. And then I get observed in one of them. Um, so, we've just been working through some of that tonight. There was a power cut in the gym, so that was fun. Um, but, yeah, so technically I've been to the gym twice. This morning I did cardio and abs. And then I also did his warm-up and cool-down with him on the treadmill. So, I've done a lot of cardio today. I think I've done about 12,000 steps, which is exactly what i'm aiming for and then i just came back and had dinner which you would have seen i did actually pre-make it before i went to the gym just so it was ready to eat when i got back 
um, and that's kind of how I've been working my evenings lately. Um, usually I go to the gym in the mornings, but now Lucy is back from traveling. We've started to go to the gym together a little bit more. Um, I like training on my own, but I do actually, I am really enjoying her being back and training together. Um, one, because I feel like I'm getting a lot more practice in because I'm not training her like Lucy knows what she's doing, but I'm kind of like creating workouts for us to do. And then it's just like good practice for me to like watch her form like push her and things like that i'm just really enjoying it so i've been going to the gym a lot more in the evenings so i've either been meal prepping so say i make a dinner one night i've been making enough that i can have it for either after the gym the next day or for me to take to college or work for lunch and that's just how i've been working it and it's been so much more helpful for me um i'm still planning my meals i think i might have been doing this in my last um what i eat in a day but i'll show you an example so all i do is plan out my so all I do is plan out my breakfast, lunch and dinners and I put them into my fitness pal as well. Just so I can kind of make sure that I'm really hitting my protein goal and also staying on track with my calories. Just because sometimes if I don't have it planned out, I kind of get home from like work or I'm trying to make a quick lunch. And I'm like, I don't know what I fancy. I don't know what I can fit in. And then I end up like... I could have a more beneficial meal if you know what i mean so i've been really enjoying planning it out it has really helped me like stick to it dinner was another holly b fitness recipe it was a baked potato which i actually don't really like potato but i have started to i don't mind jacket potato if it's got a lot of filling in it i kind of eat quite a high carb high protein diet just to give me a lot more energy and um, i feel like people always try and cut out carbs but carbs are your like best source of energy so it's not really something that i'm looking to cut out at the moment um but yeah it was a jacket potato with chicken she makes hers with chorizo but we didn't have any in the fridge so i used a slice of bacon um, and then philadelphia and some like salady bits all mixed together and put on top i will link the tiktok down below but that dinner was 395 calories and it was 41.2 grams of protein. And then as well as that, you would have seen that I had a fiber one donut. Um, and then I'm also having another can of Coke Zero because we know the love for it. Um, and I do have a couple of calories left over. So I'm kind of saving it for a snack. I'm about to go to Kia's house and watch Love Island. So I feel like I'm going to want a sweet treat um, when I get there. So I think I might have a squares bar. I wanted to have a mug cake, but I don't think I have enough left for that. Do you know what we're gonna i'm gonna put a squares bar in just so i'm having it and then i can end the video by like telling you everything and then i can't remember if i said this morning but when i was waiting for my breakfast to cook i had like a big caramel rice cake um which is 51 calories so i've just input that in as well so in total today i've eaten 1719 calories and I've eaten 123 grams of protein. But yeah, that's everything that I've eaten today. Next time I chat to you, I probably will be a fully qualified PT. Make sure you follow my fitness account. I'll link it down below. It's just Jess Gamble Fitness. But yeah, I'm planning on doing a lot more of these. I also, I, I know I always say this. I am going to start filming my workouts. I'm just going to bite the bullet. Not be scared. Especially now Lucy's back as well. Um, She's like, I'll film some things for you. Um... So I feel like it's better going with someone. She can kind of film me um, and give me a bit of moral support. But I am going to start doing a lot more fitness content. Thank you so much for watching this video. Like I say, please follow my fitness account down below. And I'll also link my normal Instagram down below. Um, also follow my TikTok on there. Because I do actually post workouts and mini what I eat in the days as well on there. And yeah, I'll see you in my next video.